Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 2022 Garden State Film Festival, celebrating its amazing 20th anniversary. My name is Ming Chen. CJ Cullen. Sophia haber Bra. And uh, I got an amazing group of filmmakers here uh, with a film called Matthew. Uh, would you guys please introduce yourselves? Uh, the film's named after me. I'm Matthew Servito. <laughs> no relation to the Matthew of the film. Robert Palumbo, um, executive producer in the film and uh, a supporting actor as well. Tom Slevin, uh, writer and executive producer. And in the film as well. For two lines. <laughs> two men. Hey, that counts. No it counts. That yeah, counts. Exactly. Whether you got paid or not, I'm yeah, not sure, but uh, it counts. We're working on that. <laughs> Griffin Berger, I wrote the music and the original song, Start Again, for the film Matthew, and I won an won a award here. The, for the homegrown short, best music. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. Cool. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. respect. Give it up. Give it up. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I, uh, how's your festival been so far? It's been great. I mean, uh, it's, we've been uh, you know, going around uh, to the circuit, film festival circuit for about a year, I guess, with this film, a little less than a year. And uh, how, many the, how many total so far? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's won six festivals. Okay. Uh, but we're excited to be here. Um, you know, Jersey Shore, Rob and I grew up going down to Jersey Shore. Yep. Our grandmother had a house at Seagirt where this yeah, yeah. festival was formed, so we're excited to be here. And Matt has a house down in Jersey yeah, Shore. Lavalette. So just yeah, Lavalette. Love being here. Lavalette. But it's also, this is the first uh, full-blown in-person festival. Yeah. I mean, some uh, festivals did a hybrid, some have yeah. gone yeah. fully virtual, yeah. but yeah. I said, God, love no. Garden State Film Festival. It's like, nope. Full, uh, every party, every oh, yes. screening, get in, enjoy. And it was last night, uh, the opening party was just great to mix with filmmakers. It, it was mobbed, man. Oh, I it was great. I, 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 I haven't been were in a room like that in two years. Were you guys here on Thursday night at all? Yes. They were, yeah. yeah the yeah. Meet the yes. Filmmakers yeah. party? Okay. Fantastic. I loved it. Yeah, it was a good night. It's a good opening. Yeah. Man. How many Garden State Film Festivals have you been to? Uh, I've only been a couple. Uh, last year, uh, a film that I was a producer on called uh, Comedy of Horrors, Volume 1. Okay, yeah. One Best Horror. Um, yeah, I know year. those guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Ken and Dan yeah, and all course. those guys, they were all here last year. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, so uh, Matthew, uh, what's it about? Tell me about it. Is it, is it in fact named after you? No, I was... <laughs> okay, no. all right, just checking. I, I, it, yeah, I haven't, I haven't I've had to answer yet, that so. question a lot. Okay. It's like, what's your... Okay, it's a Matthew. natural question. It's like, yeah. wait, it's like, whoa, yeah. is this an autobiography? Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> I, I hope not. Uh, once you know to see the material, I hope it's not autobiographical. <laughs> yeah, so. But uh, Tom wrote it, and uh, yeah, actually, I don't mean, know if we've ever discussed the name Matthew. I mean, was that just like the name meant something to you? Because it's not, you know, it's, you know... Just came out of me. Yeah. Just came out. Just felt right at the time when I wrote the movie. Uh, it's about a failed school shooting, a kid who planned a shooting but got caught before it occurs. And the movie starts seven years later when it gets out of the state psychiatric hospital. It's his dad's struggle to assim assimilate him back into the family and society, and just his journey <clears throat> on that uh, on that tough path to get his son back and undying loyalty to his son and uh, Matthew himself goes through a pretty incredible journey in terms of finding power in a unique way that he was trying to seek through the shooting initially. What was the inspiration for that? I read an article about a kid in Vermont who planned the shooting and got caught before he did and the town was up in arms that he didn't get enough prison time. His mom was upset he got too much prison time and I thought what's life like for this family when he gets out? He didn't do it, he's still that kid, but he really didn't do it, so what are all the different family dynamics? And I investigated, there's been about 30 of those where somebody planned a shooting or yeah. violent attack mm -hmm. and got, got caught. caught, and the sentences range from one year to 20 years, depending on the uh, evidence, judge and jury and state, et cetera, so, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. Was there one? Well, I guess that, that inspired it. Did you? What kind of research do you do for that? Um, I guess you read up on. Uh, Thank God the, for the internet. <laughs> Thank yeah, God, that's pretty much it. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. it was. So you it was weren't that. able to interview any of these kids. I, I, can't I did not, either. but okay. did a ton of reading online about just situations, what they were thinking, what they were planning, what happened afterwards. So, and then again, just really was focused on the family in this film and Matt brought it to life in an incredible way. Um, just the dynamics around that terrible situation and what, what are all the emotional outcomes of that. So 
Yeah, and yeah. it just seems to be getting worse, even despite all Unfortunately, the kind of safeguards. Yeah. Are, and there's been, been a few in. over the last year or so where they did get caught. And yep. we texted yeah. you like, oh, my God, there's another. And the kids fortunately got caught before it happened. So it's yeah. so amazing because during COVID, this subject matter kind of went into hibernation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The kids no were all yeah, it was they virtual. Were home if there was any upside there. to COVID, two years, there were no school shootings, yes. pretty much. Yeah. And as Tom said, the minute schools got back in person, here we were texting each other that comes right back. What about know? the families, that, the kids that have actually done it? Have you researched any of that compared to your story? A bit. Yeah, it's a great question. I, I did, and it's specifically the Columbine shooting, and just okay. their... You can't imagine just how difficult that can be. You know, we're probably most of us are parents here, and just uh, what had happened and didn't see it coming and thought everything was okay, but some situations where wasn't they knew the kid was off um yeah i think there's a, the recent case in michigan where they the parents bought him the gun for, I that's think, for correct yeah. Or yes yeah. Yeah. yeah and um recent, right? yeah, yeah, recent, yeah, recent, yeah a few yeah. months ago yeah. so yeah that's uh that's well i i've always thought i just at pro nothing i was like i wonder if there's like a a, a mass shooting tracker and there is on the internet, oh, um, yeah, which right. is you know it's sad, uh, yeah. it's sad but, um, sad, but that's i don't cool, know right. why i looked that up i think i just read a story and um, I think actually there was a shooting at South by Southwest, and I just left. I was like, "Holy crap!" Somebody there was oh, somebody boy. this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. The festival. Yeah, four people that injured. No, no fatalities, thankfully. But yeah, so it's it's, it's you know it's Texas. Yeah, that, 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 that's an excuse. But what we found kind of interesting about our film, and Matt really grabbed onto was in our in our movie. You like the kid a bit. You're not sure if you like him. You do right. like him. You don't like him. Yeah. Which uh, we're happy. That's the way it came out. Like people who do watch the film say. I, I wanted to like them. Yeah. And also, and also yeah. spend more time. And one of the reasons, yes. you know, we have, it's also a proof of concept. Tom's written a feature. Uh, right. The same title and character. And that's everyone that watches it says, I get to the end and I want to spend more time with him. Yeah. Because I want to know, is he okay? Is he rehabilitated? How does he begin to function in his life? And we, we've just, you know, we tease it out right up to a, a nice moment in the short. Yeah. And that's great character writing then, my friend. Oh, just, thank you. you know, just, you know, it is. I mean, yeah. really, that when I read Tom's script, I was just, I said, this is an incredible character. You don't get, you know, especially as a young director, you don't get the characters like this that no. often in, in, you know, uh, the writing. And um, I was just, I think the same thing you said when we talked about me possibly directing, it was just all of us had kids and all of us have, you know, just recently through high school. No. So we've all kind of lived through it. Right. And, yeah. When you have a film like that, a short, and people want more, they want to see the character more, do you think feature? Yes, it was. Yep. It's already been. It was written before it came out. Actually, absolutely. Yeah. He kind of took, well, took the feature and distilled it down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Short. Yeah. yeah. And we were like, should we just go right into the, the feature? But I'm glad we actually did it this way because I feel like yeah. there's, uh, it's a it's a great calling card now for yeah. the feature. Obviously, in, in this day and age, the jump, you know, sometimes is if you when you jump right to a feature, sometimes you're either a not ready as a director, right. mm -hmm. young director, but also, um, you know, it, it, you get a chance to kind of run it out learn from some mistakes other characters other things kind of begin to go you know that actually might be a great storyline this way or that yeah. but i think a lot of the shorts that are at the festivals always probably have some feature film. oh yeah for yeah. sure yeah, i mean for, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah, want yeah. you want people to come up to you that saw it and said i want more yeah i want to see more yeah yeah and what was the production like when did you get started with the project that was back in uh october of 2020 we filmed. Oh, uh, okay. Pandemic. Yeah, we you know we were originally going to film. We wanted to film in June of 2020, and that was the height of the pandemic. Um, and I believe Matt came on board. <clears throat> excuse me, the end of June, July, and he's like, "We're going to make this film. We'll figure it out." You know, and we just started working towards that, and uh, we filmed the entire project in New Jersey, uh, in uh, West Orange, in Millington. And East Maplewood, Orange. East East Orange, Orange, excuse me, Maplewood, yeah, yeah. All over. I was just so, up there recently. It was, yeah. I've never been up there before, actually. Yeah, all these years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just, it was really such a a, a real Garden State film. I mean, totally. you know, yeah. the cast, uh, the pr producers, uh, everything, and it really just used as much of the towns and everything. And it really, mm -hmm. though, we're not the, the story is not specific to New Jersey. We did, we don't think yeah. we even reference Correct. where they live. Okay, because we wanted it to feel like America. That's you, in the, right in the beginning, you see sort of a scroll. It looks like the beginning of a John Cougar Mellencamp song. It's okay, kind yeah. of like you're just seeing, you know, the, the, the dairy, little, the little, little pink house, yeah, feel. Totally. little pink houses you, for you exactly. and me. Yes. And we, it's I like said, the Wonder Years. You never know where everyone always asks, "Where did that take place?" Right. And yeah. you see the mountains in the background. He's wearing a jet shirt, but they yeah, never, so, ever, yeah, ever right. said. I know. I, never I know. It, yeah. I was so often as a kid, we'd be watching TV shows, and I'd be like. 
you know, Brady Bunch, whatever, I'm thinking, God, there are, mo- there are mountains everywhere, not realizing every TV show shoots in Los Angeles. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you are in Pasadena <laughs> yeah, with all not, the Mount not, San Gabriel but mountains. But they were in a desert. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I thought they were in Iowa. It's like, oh, mountains. God, I must live in the, I've lived in Michigan. I'm like, I'm just the only kid that has their mountains. God darn it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, uh, what's the audience reaction been? So you've taken a bunch of film festivals the last year. How's the reaction been? Great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, really great. And, uh, re- you know, sometimes I watch it on TV for the most part, but seeing it on the big screen and having people there, just the energy, uh, quite a difference. So really, really great. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you. I'm glad you waited. To, did uh, did in person, especially here. Oh my god. The, uh, yeah. And also, you know, you were talking about the pandemic. I, I would applaud everybody that's at this festival because my bet is ninety percent of the films that are here were shot during the pandemic. Yeah, it seems like and that. that it seems I, like that it was for a sure. heroic. I mean, honestly, that was in, in, in a weird way it became. We're going to shoot this thing. Like, I mean, you, you, we're going to get it done because it, it, it's hard enough to make a film, and then you add the, a pandemic on top of it. And we had to do all the SAG. I mean, we did a SAG shoot. I mean, so we oh, had, so to, you had to comply. It, yeah, yeah, we had to comply. Yeah, we had, all we had those compl- rules and regulations. We have, we have our compliance. Oh, there uh, she is. Shout yeah, out. Is. Shout out to Lauren. Shout. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Huge uh, under. Loved her and job. hated her. Yeah, we loved show. and hated her. I mean, honestly, that's <laughs> that, that, it is. It's the but worst job great. on set. It, it was is. like, have you been tested? I yeah. need to test you. Da, 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 da. Nope. Masks up. Keep the mask up. But we got it done. We got it done. Yeah, and I think a lot of people didn't think we just talked to another production. Like a quarter of our budget went to you know masks. Pro, you know, all, all sanitation, yeah. yep. all that, and that's you know that's a quarter of the budget. Set, this on set, yeah, that you, yeah. That, yeah. Stuff, all this yep. stuff. you know, could have been put into you know the production itself, or, right? You and know, it, it was expensive. I mean, we because we had testing on set. Um, right. You know, every other day, I think. Yeah, yeah. we brought a lab. In. Yeah, so yeah, we brought a lab. I mean, yeah. it was like yeah. the, t- really. Uh, Is that every other day, son? Every other I think day. that's what we were doing. We did. Every, everybody got tested right before, and we did it during the shoot. It was a six-day shoot. We did testing during the shoot as well. That, yeah, that's amazing. And uh, I mean, the obvious question, you know, I, what's it mean to be here at the Garden State Film Festival? Yeah, you know, as we um, said, I mean, like, we're, do- we're all Jersey guys, and really, uh, I, I, you know, just grown to sort of love the idea of working here, shooting here. You know, there, there's so much um, talent, you know, um, and it's so, as I said, being here in person, just talking to people, people exchanging cards, people, you know, have already script ideas. Let me email you this. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, I just the, miss the, that The, the, so the networking much. great. Yeah, here. and, and like Jersey's just got so much. And, and I was so New York-centric for so 25 years. I lived in the city, and, uh, and now I've been out here 10 years, and I realize, oh, my God, there's, like, tons of talent. And up and down, <laughs> I mean, now I've met a whole group of people that have Ocean County connections. And, oh, yeah, I'm right yeah. down here. And, and obviously the tax incentives, we've talked a lot about that. I mean, you've got tax incentives for the north, you've got tax incentives that are greater for the south of yeah. Jersey. So, you know, take advantage of all that stuff, too. Yeah, right. When are you guys screening today? Or We did 11.30. 11.30. Block 17. Oh, fantastic. So how was the audience reaction yeah. to it? It was excellent. Okay. Yeah. People were moved. Uh, there was tears. People walking out of the theater crying. Uh, so it's so gratifying as filmmakers that have elicit emotion from people. You know, when they walk out of a film like that, so it was really good. And this is very di- was very difficult for us because we're all this group's pretty uh, goofy and silly and I, fun. Yeah, and yeah, I noticed. So that. We're, we're jumping right over to a comedy. Th- that, let me just tell you, like, yeah. forget the COVID. Being serious for six days was super hard. Sure, yeah. super super hard. I mean, I kept like I would make a thing. I'm like, no, Tom, your job is to keep me on point. Don't let right. me make this funny. Yeah, Don't I, like yeah, let a, me make fun of it. It's I'm, too serious. I'm a goofball. No, I'll save that until after the show. Yeah. So thank God we've now yeah, it's, he's, it's he's given me an orgy of comedy. Now it's like <laughs> completely the other way. It's like this is gonna be it, it, just. We'll be back next year it's, with insanity. We, I t- promise. It's tough to run from who you truly are. I know. Yeah, that's a goofball. Be a goofball, except you know, except on this project. For but sure. it was great as a challenge for a young director to just really like stay on point. And then it, it, again, it, it, we can't say enough about our cast uh, and the mu- and the music from Griff. I mean, just truly yes. like when that song came in and we just laid it in. It's like all of a sudden you you feel it. Like, music is Thank such you, you know uh, a big part of any yes, film, but it like for films, a, right? a short film to have something this good was ridiculous. How did you come up with the song for it? Did you have it already or did you watch the film or how do you come up with something like that? So Rob sent me the script over about six months before you guys shot it Mm -hmm. and what really stuck out to me was this kid, Matthew. He has this whole hypothetical thing on this shooting that did not happen. He's in psychiatric ward for seven years, prison, gets out. But what's very real is the loss of the mother, the loss of seven years of his life and his growth with his family. And I wrote the song from the perspective of the father and him reconnecting back with his son, Matthew, 
and just his belief that you can, the song's called Start Again, you can have a second chance. I come, what I do on the side, this is a, a side thing for me, but I work uh, you know, in downtown Jacksonville, Florida, and we have a lot of employees that are second chance people. That oh yeah, out, okay, right, you know, right. They, they've been incarcerated, prison, they, they're, they're, they're served out. time. And what this movie speaks about too is when you've served your time and you come out, it shows that, you know, you st- some people out there still treat you like crap. Oh, yeah. And knock you down. Yeah. And so I just, I saw hope in the film, and I saw hope in the characters, all the characters. And that's where I wrote the song, the song from and the lyrics from. So. Keep an eye on this guy. Oh, yeah. So, uh, seriously, <laughs> like we said, in 10 years, we're going to be like, my God, remember when we could afford him? Like, remember we, <laughs> we could he was. Yeah. I, um, had you guys known each other before you were in Jacksonville? So, or did you find him? Uh, so we, no. We, we find a lot of people, like, they go on Facebook groups and find yeah. composers and animators. And how did you guys find each other? How it started was when I met Rob. You want yeah, to sure. I, so my son went to Florida State with Griffin, and they had a, a oh, study abroad good. in Italy. And long story short, there was a closing ceremony, and Griffin performed. And he absolutely blew the doors off the room. It, it was an incredible performance, and I was so moved, my wife and I. And so when we started to talk about music for the film, as Griffin said, I had sent him the script. We discussed it a lot over the phone, and quickly he wrote that song, and we all loved it. Out of the gate, we put him in the studio, yeah. and away we went. It was great. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, I know you're probably constantly writing. What is, is there something you're working on right now that uh, you're really passionate about? Maybe a comedy. Well, Matt yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe something a little more lighthearded. Doesn't uh, as opposed to this uh, Christmas movie might... that we just made called <laughs> Matthew, lighthearted right. holiday fair. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you might say that slightly different. So uh, as Matt mentioned, yes, we're uh, about to shoot a comedy horrors film that I wrote <clears throat> that um, takes place 25 years in the future. It's a dystopian type film. The world is in a really bad place, except for there's this apartment complex where there's free living, free rent, beautiful food, yeah. beautiful people, except if every week they vote on the most annoying person to kill. Oh, I, geez, if only you could, you know, in an apartment complex? <laughs> exactly. I, if That's only right. we could do this in real life. If only we could do that, right. Yeah, yeah. so Matt's directing. Luck, we're fortunate to have Matt again, and uh, we're excited to shoot that. Yeah. That's so you amazing. don't have, like, one specific style, but you gain like, different things, life, uh, listening to music, just just out there in the world. And Annoying just, neighbors. Just hit things hit me. <laughs> Tom's my cousin, so we talk a lot. He's annoyed at everything. He flies a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. He flies a lot. I, I, no joke. He's always talks about. I am so annoyed. These people. This happened. This happened to me. And then I believe that was pretty much the genesis of, of the film. He's right. Oh, look, he's right. <laughs> I'm not that good a guy. He's the, right. The people who take their shoes off in an airplane. Come on. <laughs> Come on. He talks about the clap. And socks. And socks, socks. yes. <laughs> little, little John Candy action, a little train. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. yeah. oh that's my right. dogs are yeah. barking. Like, is it? <laughs> you got to that's right. dog on a plane. I did. Wait, what? Wow. On, on a flight? Uh, yes. A f- large 45-pound dog behind me bit mm. me in the ankle, and uh, I was supposed to be okay with it. So. Oh, sure, yeah. Just, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, so. you're not oh, I guess you were annoyed. Yeah, I was an- how dare you be <laughs> annoyed being, being annoying. Yeah, right. yes, I'm exactly. annoying. You, you deserve to be bit. Right, it's right. And by the yeah. way, like we're shooting this thing again all over Jersey. Like, yes. you know, we're back in the Garden State, like big broad comedy using a lot of places up in yeah. uh, Essex County, Bergen County, all over. Yeah. So, so, so you shoot up there. there. Do you ever come down this way to shoot? We haven't come down this way to shoot yet. Yeah, but look good it, stuff here. Yeah, we yeah. looked at some locations here for that oh, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it logistically right. didn't work out, but yeah. we did. Okay. Absolutely, love to. Um, yeah, no. As Tom said, we are all shore connected, Ocean County connected. So I can't wait for him to write the beach. Comedy. That's next, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Rom com, rom com, rom com. That's, just, that's, that's the only genre. Part. Part. A lot of the guy, yeah, you need a lot of ADR oh, yeah. during the beach scenes, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of wind. A lot of wind. Yeah, that's my next one. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, uh, is there a website? Is there a social medium? Uh, both, Matthew? yes. Okay. UncleJohnnyProductions.com is our production company we okay. have set at. Um, Matthew Short Film, both on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, fantastic. Uh, great luck. I, um, uh, I'm glad the screening went well. Uh, yeah, what's next? Do you have any more festivals? Did you say this was the end-ish no, maybe? Have, or you got more? Few, we pretty much go through the summer. Oh, good. Okay, right. cool. Yeah. Okay. So we have a lot to hear. And, and we're so. back. We get to go to these things now. Yeah, yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. That's amazing. Uh, congratulations. We're happy to be here. This is where we wanted to be. This and uh, thanks for thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, we, we just we love talking to filmmakers. And uh, is this you Jack Kerouac you think staring down at me? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's I thought one, it was Robert De Niro. That's, yeah, that's it, well, one it looks interpretation. Like, it looks a little like Sylvia from Sopranos. <laughs> yes. you, can't, you can't see yes. the hair. 
But uh, Kerouac, I believe, is from Jersey, and I, I and I think that might be him. I'm guessing that's Jack Kerouac. Just wanted to point that Possibly. out. Let's, let's just say yes. Yes, let's, let's just say to Jack. Just say yes. But he's been staring at me the whole time, and I'm yes, it's, it's right annoying. Down at it's you. annoying, Tom. Can we put him kill in? Him. Yeah, kill him. Take yeah. that photo. I, I I think that's already been taken. Yeah, I think he did it himself. Think, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for having us on. Shot a man in Reno thank just you. to watch yes, you guys. So, exactly. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Look, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the day in Asbury. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. For, thank you. for sure. Uh, films rolling all weekend, ladies and gentlemen. GSFF.org uh, for the tickets and info. And uh, we will see you. Get down here. Get down here. What could you possibly be doing this weekend? Meet us at the bar. That at is the this Berkeley. cool. Yeah, we'll be here at the bar. We'll be the here at the director, at, at, the actor, the, the, the composer. Yes, the official bar, the unofficial bar, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll Movies see you. all day, all <laughs> night tonight, and all day tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys again. Cheers. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you guys. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>